What is going on guys? This is Jake at That Fit Friend and today we're going to be looking at the Vivo Barefoot Primus Light 3. So four things to like about this model is number one, this is a great shoe for daily wear and lifting. So this model features a removable insole as well. So if you're like myself and if you wear this shoe for deadlifting or just more of your lower body training, taking out that insole is another fantastic means for really getting you close to that ground so you can really feel the ground below you and if you want to bias your weight in your foot to drive certain adaptations in training, this is a great model to do so. Plus, overall, it is very comfortable with its overall construction. So for daily wear, it's an awesome model too. The second thing to like about the shoe is just the overall breathability and durability of the upper construction. So the Geo Racer knit, one of my gripes about it was the price and also that the knit material didn't feel super durable, especially from like a lifting and running setting. This model has a slightly more reinforced upper construction here. We have some thick mesh we have some overlays here to increase overall durability so i think from like a training point of view this model delivers a better upper construction when it comes to overall durability the third thing to like about this model is just how lightweight it is so at a weight of 8.8 .8 ounces for my size 10 shoe this model is very easy to wear for longer periods of time honestly sometimes i'll put these on and i actually forget i have them on plus with their overall width in the toe box they are very comfortable as well on top of just being a very lightweight easy to wear shoe the fourth thing to like about this model is that it is made out of recycled materials. So personally, I think that is a really cool thing. And when you get this model too, it comes in a recycled plastic bag. The box that it comes in is good for the planet. So it's made out of recycled materials as well. And overall, I think from a sustainability approach and standpoint, I like that this shoe features recycled materials. I wish more companies would do something similar to that nature to help limit some of the consumer waste that we have in the shoe industry alone. But now let's talk about a couple of cons I have noticed with the Primus Light 3. So a few cons I could see folks having with this model is number one, their price point. So most of the colorways come in at $145 USD. Then for the botanical green colorway, that is $150 USD. $145 and $150 is not very cost efficient for a shoe. So if you are on the market for more budget friendly barefoot shoes, I would suggest shopping around a little bit more or trying to find a discount for these because overall $145, $150 is kind of high. The second potential con I could see folks having is that this model doesn't really come in half sizes. They have 12 and a half and then everything else is like just normal sizes. I don't know why 12 and a half is the one half size they have. But if you are on one of those like true half sizes for your normal training shoes or just normal shoes for that matter, it can be a little bit finicky trying to find the right size, especially with the lower profile design here. You don't want to go too large because then you can run into some slippage issues. So what I always suggest is that if you are on one of those half sizes, try going down in size before going up because that will help prevent any form of slip you might have in the heel of this model. The third con is that the laces that come with the shoe are pretty short in nature. And honestly, like if you're not lacing up really tight, you are going to have a slightly, I think, tougher time keeping these puppies tied. Like even this, you could see, like I wore this today just out and about and it's already kind of coming undone. And I have noticed like when wearing these just for errands and whatnot, the laces do come untied at times. So not the biggest deal. You might just need to reinvest in some new laces if you get the shoe. And overall, it doesn't really impact performance but it is just one of those things where it's like why can't we just make the laces just a little bit longer but overall I have really enjoyed wearing this shoe and training in this shoe this is actually one of my favorite barefoot shoes at the moment especially for training and that brings us to our performance section so let's dive in when chatting on performance in the Primus Light 3 we're gonna break this section into three different parts we'll talk about lifting more versatile training and then shorter runs and daily wear now when it comes to lifting I really enjoy this model for three key reasons Number one, the active sole is incredibly thin and it really allows you to feel the ground. So with this shoe and the active sole that Vivo Barefoot uses, it has a total height of four millimeters, which is pretty much nothing. And if you remove the insole, you can get really close to the ground. So I really like this shoe for deadlifts and for my lower body sessions where I'm really trying to feel the ground below my feet. And the third reason is just the overall upper construction. It breathes well, it's lightweight, and it feels fairly durable. So if you are like myself and you plan to use this model for primarily barbell training and more recreational lifting, you should get a lot out of this model because the overall upper construction I think will last you a while, especially if you take good care of this shoe. And now when it comes to versatile training, I also like this model. Overall, it is very maneuverable. Like as you can see, the shoe bends really well, so you get a lot of feedback out of it. 
and also with the upper construction how it is a bit more reinforced you don't really slide around a lot so even if the shoe is pretty wide on your foot you're not going to be like sliding forward or around like you can in some of the other barefoot shoes that have more loose or like more knit like upper construction so for versatile training i do enjoy this model and you have that option of taking out the insole if you want to be closer to the ground or adding it in if you want a little bit more padding when you are doing more plyos agility etc with this shoe now for shorter runs and daily wear Personally, I actually don't like wearing this model that much for shorter runs. It works really well, don't get me wrong. However, for the price point, I would rather use a different shoe that I'm not so worried about having it break down early, especially if I'm running outside. Like I want this sole to last a while. If I'm gonna run in this shoe, I'm either gonna run on grass or on a treadmill where I know I'm not gonna have too much friction from like asphalt on the sole. So this model lasts a while basically for the price point. And for daily wear, I also really enjoy this shoe. With how lightweight and breathable it is, it's kind of a joy to wear for longer periods. So if you wanna wear these out and about or just for walking and building up your foot musculature slowly as you acclimate to barefoot shoes this is a great model to do so in because you can also wear it to lift in etc and it doesn't feel super heavy on the foot at all so now let's answer the question is this model worth it so personally i think this shoe has a lot going for it and i do think it's worth it it's made out of recycled materials has a fairly clean aesthetic and you can wear it on a daily basis to the gym or for shorter runs and like versatile training and it feels fairly comfortable and durable across the board. It does have a slightly higher price point, but for how versatile this shoe is and the fact that it's made out of recycled materials, I do think it's worth it. So when chatting on sizing and fit in the Primus Light 3, most should be safe going true to size, but let's say you're a half size. So let's say you're sitting at nine and a half with your normal shoe size, what should you do? I would suggest going down to a nine first and then if that's too tight in regard to length, go up to a 10. Because this shoe has a lower profile design, I would rather you go for a size that's not gonna have you so much more prone to heel slip versus going too large and then having to size down because there's so much room in the toe box that you're noticing the heel slipping out, etc. So if you are a half size, I would suggest going down first and then going to the larger size if that's too tight versus the other way around. And that's just to ensure that you don't experience heel slip with the model if you are a half size. So we chatted on price briefly already in this video, but for the Primus Light 3, you can expect to pay between $145 and $150 USD. So that price point is fairly high and this is definitely not the most cost efficient option out there. However, for how versatile this shoe is and just for how clean the aesthetic is so you can wear it in so many different settings, I do think the price point is fairly worth it in this model. So when it comes to weight and drop in this model, for a size 10 Primus Light 3, you can expect to have a weight of around 8.75 ounces and this is with the insole in the model. And then when it comes to the offset or heel to toe drop in the shoe, that is gonna be zero drop, so zero millimeters in regard to the heel to toe drop in this model. So when going over the construction in the Primus Light 3, I do wanna emphasize again that this shoe is made out of recycled materials and Vivo Barefoot, I believe, tried to use less materials overall in this model compared to previous shoes. So up here on the toe, we have some reinforced material throughout. On the big toe side, we have some Vivo Barefoot branding, and then we have a breathable mesh throughout the forefoot of this shoe. On the midfoot here, we have a reinforced layer here going up the midfoot, one, two, three, four, five eyelets back there. The fifth eyelet is for lace locking. So if you like to wear your model a little bit more loose like myself, then you may run into some issues with this staying tight if you don't invest in new laces. On the lateral side here, we have some more Vivo Barefoot branding. We have another mesh layer throughout. On the medial side, it's this more thick like reinforced material. And then back here on the boot, overall, the heel is pretty maneuverable. However, we do have a slightly more reinforced material throughout the upper construction of the boot itself. The tongue is fairly narrow, so what I would say is when you're putting the shoe on, make sure you're pulling up on both sides of this tongue so it doesn't rip. Obviously, at a price of 145 to 150, I don't want your tongue to rip too fast and then have you come back to this video and ready to fight me because the tongue broke down super quickly on you. On this model, we also have Vivo Barefoot's active sole, so we have that hexagon print throughout. We have some Vivo Barefoot branding up here on the big toe side or the base of the big toe for that matter. This sole is four millimeters thick and it is super maneuverable. And then also we have that removable insole. So if you like to train without the insole in, we have recycled insole material here. And then the inside of the shoe is also finished. So you don't have to worry about stepping on like that awkward unfinished portion of the shoe if you do take out the insole and you like to wear them without. Overall, that pretty much wraps up the construction features in this model. It's fairly simplistic in nature, but that's why I think I kind of like it as well. If you have any questions, on the shoe hit me in the comments below and I will answer whatever you have all right guys that wraps up my review of the Primus light 3 from Vivo barefoot if you have any questions on this model 
please hit me in the comments below because I know the price point is higher. So I know investing in these can be a little bit scary at times. So let me answer whatever you have. You can also hit me personally if you're more comfortable to do that. And as always guys, drop a like on the video, drop subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.